welcome back to on day five fishing this is chris coming at you uh, as you can see i'm back in action on the pier at Kerry beach uh, this was a quite windy day so i'm coming back at you with the voiceover you can actually see looking at the little piece of rag on the light up above to your right there that the wind is blowing pretty good so i'm throwing the mackerel tree again and uh, you can see i just uh, set the hook there um, in my previous video um, i did actually show you what that mackerel tree looks like and uh, the unique thing about it is that there are many different retrievals that you'll see guys and girls doing um, as you're fishing so you can see um, the bluefish are on the menu today so i'm bringing them over the rail there ever so slowly um, actually correction i'm looking at this one this is actually the spanish mackerel that i caught um, they actually have to be a foot long um, and you can see he actually did get tossed back he didn't make it so mackerel tree getting cast back out and uh, we're keeping the journey going here um, but as I was saying, uh, one of the things you will notice um, as you see uh, different folks on the pier throwing these mackerel trees, you'll see all sorts of different retrievals. You'll see more of a throw down, a cast out, and then a lift straight back up and let it drop. And then you'll see more of a gradual pop, 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 like popping it up four times like you see that I'm doing um, as I'm retrieving. I'm actually new to throwing the mackerel tree myself. Um, I have not really thrown it years prior to this one um, any with any consistency uh, but um, as you can see uh, checking out this video I'm having some luck with it so that's a blue fish and you can see the gentleman coming up um, the guys on the end of the pier guys and girls are actually fishing for uh, king mackerel and uh, you can see they actually do when they see a blue fish come up they get excited because that's what they're using for bait to catch the kings uh, the king mackerel so that's what that gentleman was doing actually asking if I was keeping the blues which I am and uh, just in case you did not know uh, here in North Carolina uh, you can keep 15 blues per day so um, that's what I was working on I was working on getting my limit of 15 and then after that you know I would be fine with actually giving some away and I did give uh, one or two away uh, to the king fisherman but um, all the same um, as I'm trying to get my cooler and make sure that I'm able to take a catch home that's what I was fo focusing on there first and uh, believe it or not um, we actually had bluefish for for dinner um, a couple of days ago and actually uh, bluefish for for lunch today so bluefish are are very nice and um, and, and tasty um, you can see there is a double coming up so that's just how um, good of a little school if you will we were fishing in is that I had two come up on that hook together so that was that was fun to actually get those like that so again as you can see the macro tree is working so it's, it's cool out uh, you'll notice that I'm bundled up and and I know that um, I'm backlit here so the silhouette of me um, is what you're getting here but I um, really wanted you to be able to see and get a good vision for the actual technique um, of throwing a mackerel tree and you'll notice um, if you see my previous if you did see my previous video this is actually my same uh, pin battle uh, 3000 actually my 4000 pin battle 2 4000 and my new um, actual LL bean rod so that's what we're using here uh, so nice light combination and I think I'm running like eight pound test on it really to help enhance my cast I'm gonna be able to cast a little bit further because sometimes these schools will come through and there's another double coming up so you can see just how plentiful uh, they were so uh, I don't know if you've been keeping count but um, I think that's uh, fish number five uh, with uh, those two there coming up um, and of course the little mackerel that we caught little Spanish mackerel we threw him back but uh, one of the things uh, when you do cast it out there just cast it you know let it drop and the one guy was catching even more than I was catching uh, he was throwing his rod out making his cast and he says he waits for like 10 seconds so they can hit the bottom and then he starts his retrieval and um, he was doing something similar to what I'm doing and um, I, I think of fishing a lot like dancing um, I'm not like that big of a dancer but um, one of the things that I would do especially if I've been out of practice get on the dance floor with my wife that loves to dance and um, kind of look around and see what are some of the dances that other folks are doing and kind of get in where you fit in pick your own rhythm and go with it so i think uh throwing 
this macro tree, um, I would say there's another double. So you can see that's kind of a theme going on here. Um, it's kind of like throwing this macro tree is one of those types of things, you know, you kind of see what other folks are doing and then find your rhythm, make it your own. I mean, I think the ultimate thing is to be able to feel that bite and uh, whatever you do that allows you to feel that bite is going to make you successful because ultimately you're going to catch fish. Uh, so that means you're going to take fish home. You're going to have a good time and um, you're getting better. Um, I think like with anything, uh, practice makes practice makes progress or practice makes perfect however you think of it but um, I have enjoyed uh, actually throwing these mackerel trees um, these past couple weeks uh, going out and, and again Curry Beach Pier has been the place that I've chosen um, to do most of my fishing here in the fall but um, there are other piers in the area um, like uh, Carolina Beach Pier uh, there's Johnny Mercer Pier up in Wrightsville Beach and there's Seaview Pier of course up in Topsail um, I think I might try to hit that one up before the season gets too far gone. But you can see here, another nice bluefish coming up. So we're, we're definitely keeping it going. Uh, this was a good day. So didn't want to bore you with uh, me taking them off the hook. So that's why you'll notice that um, the video is moving a little bit faster in those areas because I want to just show you the actual meat of the casting and the hook setting and uh, just so you get the rhythm of of how it actually goes um, using one of these mackerel trees. So you can see pop, pop, pop. It's like pop, pop, pop. And it's like, you know, it's, it's really close to the bottom. Um, you know, and, and I actually have a spoon on right now as the, as the weight um, on the mackerel tree because that's the thing you'll notice. And um, in my previous video, I showed you what a mackerel tree looks like. And um, I actually have a spoon on the bottom of it to, on this particular video. Uh, for today and it, it, did, it did a good job so I, I can't say that I prefer the spoon over you know just a regular uh, diamond uh, weight or anything like that I think it's just all in what you like and um, they both catch fish so I, did, I don't I can't say that I have a preference at this point so you can see another blue coming up and you can see actually he is on the spoon that actually I'm using for the way he actually bit that and not one of the four hooks that's up above so um, I guess that action was working for him because um, made him think that it was actually a minnow or the bait that he would have been chasing. And of course, he or she, let's just say, took the bait. So that's what you're seeing here. I'm actually taking this one off the hook. So this was definitely a, a good, a fun day. And um, I can't stress to you enough if you're going to be doing any night fishing or early morning fishing, pretty much from here on out, I would say dress for the weather. I, I would say I have one at least five layers i have on like long johns um, a pair of slim fitting sweatpants and you know like another probably slim pair of fitting of, of sweatpants and then jeans and then like another pair of jeans and then like some um patagonia wading type pants over top of that to break the wind uh, from you know as it's blowing and then of course up top you know t-shirt sweater hoodie light jacket heavier jacket you know, I mean, it's 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 pretty chilly out there, like around 50 degrees or so. So I would definitely say plan for it um, if you're going to come fishing coming down this way this time of year. Be kind to the fish.